nummers 8, Rogger, nummer 9, Neres en coaches van Kouwenberger en Luzart. Well, first full ball possession is for the French. French men team, number 1, Nigel, number 2, Kota, number 3, Linette, number 4, Batin, number 5, Dorolo, number 6, Boudalal, number 7, De Belli. Number 8, Richard and coaches, Richard and Buffer. Belgians use a 1 2 2 defense, trying to get some room between the opponents and their own goalie. Well, we see a very nice save from the Foldere. thing I always really enjoy about the French playstyle is they really pass to hand to hand. Not often that they use the pedal to control the ball. Now we see actually a French offense fast back opportunities and now really for the Belgians this should be a goal. No almost that should have been it with two players against four. He even took the time to control the ball, but sadly for them, it hit the bottom bar. It is a corner, but that is not what they wanted from it. That should have, that would have been a very surprising start, because at the start of this tournament, we have a world ranking, and on that. France is 6th and Belgium is 14th. So in that regard, you would say on paper that the French are favorite to win here. But especially if you get a goal very fast, then the others have to follow you. Which is always harder to do with just 15 seconds remaining on the clock. They really should work towards the clock at a shot here on the right with Jacobs. Ooh. Still almost a surprising shot. But luckily not in enough for to pass Boulderlau. Well we see two subs from France. Put in the new energy for this defense because you need all the energy got. Again to Jacobs, and again deflected, nicely done by Boudal. <laughs> well, we see the captain Neers from the Belgians trying to breach the French defense. Search a foul being made. Number one made an unsportive move and has a warning. Next foul he makes, he will be penalized with a card. A lot of room here on the left with number seven and six. Beautifully done, eventually passing the goalie. Sometimes the French goalie is actually looking more towards the water. Which is a bit surprising to me, almost like he has a headache. Hopefully is he, he is in tip-top shape. So both of these teams managed to pass through the group stage after Belgium won this morning against Japan. France was at the start of the day already sure to pass into this stage 
of this tournament. But the Belgians still had to beat Japan. And that was one thrilling match. It was anybody's game. At some point, the Japanese men were actually leading that match. But at the end, the Belgians were very strong. And they managed to win, ensuring their position on this pitch right now against the French. In this group, we are joined with GB, Swiss, Espanol and Italia. So a very strong group. And only the top two teams will advance through in this tournament, going to the semis. A lot of fumble, but this is a very nice and easy shot for the French. And they do make it. Nice by Cotta. The French players are very, very quick. One slip up and it looks like this. But the same can be said about the Belgium team. One slip up from the French and they will pass. Nice quickly from left to right. Still stopped by the French defense. With four minutes left in this half. Oh, a bit of a trick pass. But a pass means no shot clock reset. So the French player is not in the way. might look a bit unsportive but these are the rules five seconds remaining second line shot oh the top of the bar still in belgium well ball possession can he get it to the man in the middle a lot of belgians are now actually inside the defense of the french a loss of ball possession would be a very bad deal for them the shot was blocked by the goalie and normally it's a corner, but this time it bounced on the boat of the Belgian player. So, yeah, sorry, then you lose the ball possession. <laughs> Both of these teams have set their targets for very high. We look back on it, the target of the Belgians is already made because they said we want to finish top 12 and they made that. But now you've reached the top 12, you want to be as high as possible, of course. The French came here for one thing and one thing only to win this tournament, and in the very small possibility, in their opinion, that it won't work. They want to be at least be qualified for the World Games. And that means be at least top six. Well, we see a very nice save from the goalie, De Foldere. One of the more surprising fun facts the Belgians told us. Double block, very nicely done. Is that they funded for themselves, but they made they sold cookies to make some extra money to get here. The French are also partly they are partly sponsored by the Federation, and the rest of them the athletes paid themselves to play here. Both of the teams have played with or trained with each other a lot of the time because the French came together once a month and the Belgians twice a month quick passes nice of hand to hand advantage has been given was 
outside of the direct defense. For the seconds count away. You see the shot clock, that is the correct time. So you probably see the French working to one last shot. That will happen in the last 10 seconds of the match. Ensuring that the Belgians are not able to make a fast break of their own. Again, pass from hand to hand, very nice. Oh, intercepted by the Belgians. Oh, can he get ball possession for it? Pedal versus pedal. And a, a far away shot actually from the France on the last second. Hit the post on the left side. Means we go into this in the second half with a 2-0 lead in favor of the French. So the players will get some water, some last minute feedback from the coach. Thank you to our sponsors, International Kano Federation, China Kano Association, Honsao City, the Xing County, Yupin Sports, Kukau's Group, Latour Sports, Kalis, ICF Sponsors, Bit Auto, Braca Sport, Alibaba Cloud, Dan Spirit, Iron Master, K Ford, Paytex, Osa Draipak, Nelson Kayaks, Hua Boats, Pai Xing Boats, and Kalos Group. second half of this match in group MP on the Kano kayak slash info site is all the current information well there are off and first ball possession is again for the French well we see a very fast attack now trying to surprise the Belgium defense a bit but nicely blocked by the Belgium defense, they mean that that means that they are very quickly to regain ball possession in the second half. Can the Belgians now surprise the French? Oh, offensive foul being made. Means the French now have a kind of a counter option. Far away shot, oh, actually too far because it hit the bottom of the top of the goal. So 
Some quick passes, now to the left. Nice pass from hand to hand. But the Belgians really shoot. Oh, another foul being made. So fast break opportunity now for the French. Will they plus far away shot again? Or they try to surprise the Belgians. Bit of room on the left. Big pass to the middle. Ooh, but luckily enough for the French. Number six, Boulula Lachda was laying there with his kayak. Quick passes now to the middle. Penalty has been given. And number two from the Belgium team has been sent off because of that foul. This is a very good opportunity for the French. It looked so easy, but it is very hard. But that does mean that the Belgium team is directly with five players again. While we're off, a lot of speed on the left side of the pitch here. With number two and number eight there. A lot of Belgium players are now in the defense of the French. Second line shot is deflected. So it means a corner. But that would be very hard to pass against actually battle against because if you're with all the players of your team inside the defense well the option of you passing into the defense is very big but the moment you make one single slip up it's over like this and as well as with a fault means that you have a fast break option very fast for your opponents well the French are now leading with a 3-0 oh, a kind of a surprising shot but it won't pass beaten who is now being switched with the folder the main goalie of them Still 40 seconds remain on the shot clock with just six minutes left in this on this pitch. Both of the teams will play later today. But a win here now would really help towards the advancement in the tournament. Advantage win given means a new 60 seconds. And because the French are leading. Number nine made the foul, by the way. And because they have a new minute, the French and leading with 3 0. You'll probably see not that much need to get to a goal. But yeah, the opportunity presents itself like that for number five, the Holo. They won't say no. Quick passes, can they still keep in ball possession? The goalie was moved and that's not allowed. Fast break is not an option anymore for the French. So they all have to set up their offense 
on their road. Quick passes from hand to hand. Now the newbie is joining in the defense. Namely number seven, Debeli. Second line shot deflected by the goalpost. But Belgium is now in ball possession. Very nicely done. Fast break is not really an option. With a far away shot is still. Oh, with a bit of a fumble means the French are now back in ball possession. So at this point in time, the Belgians also have to think about the goal difference. Because especially well, in the pool phase, that might become very important later on. Because they still have to meet up with GB, Swiss, Espana and Italia. Pass to the left. Can he reach his man in the middle? Second line shot. Try to surprise the French goalie, but he won't be surprised. Better foul made. Oh, 1 3 1. If the. You. Oh, it just falls in. I really thought it would go over the goal, but it was just barely in. But that's a, that one counts as well. <laughs> Defensive foul made. By number five. Next five, uh, next foul he makes will be penalized with a card. So he still he has to watch it. Because it is not necessary. Second line shot deflected again by the French defense. Fast break option now, a bit to the left. Oh, what a pass! And a goal! Wow, what a pass! I mean, the goal was impressive because he had to act very quickly, of course. But that pass, that is where they actually got the point. Pass to the right. And deflected by the French guys again. Fast break option is again an option. The Belgians now choose for a man on defense. So five out, all the players will meet up with a player of the team of the opponents. Well, we see a lot of action under the goal. Belgium nicely saved by the goalie. That is why you have the folder with you. Can they make a goal of their own? With just under a minute left, but the shot clock is at 30 seconds, so we'll see at least two shots, or a foul of course. Ah, if that pass would be a bit better, would have been quicker. But with that shot, you see the shot clock counting down. Oh, nice 1v1, one one. oh, and over the goal. There were also number four and two that were very eager to shoot there. 
but with just 10 seconds remaining. The man on defense should not work out for the, uh, for the Belgians. At first, Belgians was at a very close call to take the lead in this match, but at the end, the French relatively uh, won easy against the Belgians here. But nothing is amiss there yet, because if they get to the second rank in the group, they will still advance to the semis. I thank you very much for watching. Next up on this pitch will be a men's class as well between Malaysia and the USFA that will be brought to you by Yossin. So enjoy.